everybody. So today I'm testing out an Alva lip tint. I do have all six, but I really like this colour. And I have my Hemco Beauty gloss to put over it. And I'm also using the OXX Cosmetics Hyaluronic Velvet Primer. <clears throat> so it's the one that will keep my skin hydrated and plump during the day. Don't know why that word is cringy to me. My goodness, I'm starting to talk like my children. So. says with hyaluronic acid and I'm going to use my e.l.f. primer brush and I've already fixed up my skin with the words today with the <coughs> Nivea SPF 30 face cream and my elf under eye Hello Hydration Face Cream, Eye Cream. And it's made my under eyes look a bit better than how I wake up. But that's all good. <clears throat> and that's the colour of this one. And it was $2 on special in Kmart so I'm just going to use my normal here we go <coughs> foundation or skin tint and I'm going to see how this primer wears throughout the day. Because knowing me, some primers just do not agree with my skin. And they just don't like my face. And that's okay. Um, <clears throat> so, this is the MK Beauty foundation brush, and I'm already not liking this primer. Because when I use my Rose Glow primer, it just makes my skin and my face look really intense and it just starts glowing, but I just don't like this one. dyed my red hair and I'm going to get my hair cut next week I 
oh goodness, because long hair in the hotter months, in summer and spring, because springtime can get pretty hot. can get way too hot for a lot of people. But when I used to have long hair when I was a child, like I had major long hair, um, both my little sister and I, well, she had a lot longer hair, gorgeous, gorgeous hair, but, um, We grow our hair and it looked so beautiful but now that I'm growing older and I've got my preferences of how I like <coughs> my hair and whatnot um, it's just a lot easier especially with two little ones and I don't have to stand there in the mirror for 20 minutes straightening my hair and when it's short it takes me less than 10 I section it out do the heat protection spray and it's all done with this long hair it is a nightmare And as I've been having shorter styled hair as a mum, it really helps because I don't I, I don't have to take time out from my children, so I just whip the hair straighten it through and it's done. And um, yeah, so it doesn't take any time away from the kitties, and I can just get it done. So as soon as <coughs> I get my hair styled and Then I can get on with the rest of our day. But when they're at school, like I fiddle fart around with different styles and different ways of making my hair. There should be a towel in the window. So, in the natural sunlight, I can see a smoothing difference <clears throat> on my skin, especially around my forehead and on my cheeks, because I have a lot of acne damage especially on this side it has smoothed it out quite a lot I might get you guys into the natural sunshine with me and that's how my Skin's looking at the moment with that new primer.
but I don't think it's one I'm going to be going for all the time. So, with my normal face routine, I'm going to go in with my Emco Beauty Amaretto Blush. And I love this blush. It's beautiful. I bought it back in July. And I've been wearing it on and off. But lately I've been on with it. Because it just looks so beautiful. And it just looks so beautiful. And even on pale skin. It looks awesome. But I've got very... Uh, olive medium skin except for in the winter when it's like nope you are getting washed out and it looks it's subtle but you can see a hint of colour especially on this side same blending techniques on both side, sides, but I love it. And this is the Instant Contour Cream Bronzer. And it's making an utter mess. And that's okay. And I'm just going to do that just there. And this just here my hand head <clears throat> because I have a massive forehead and we're gonna blend it the same as we did the blush now I don't want it heavy I just want it blended fully and I want it lifting my cheekbones because having had dental removal surgery on both sides of my mouth this side has been absolutely put into turmoil and it doesn't matter if I put both sides makeup correctly, uh, put in the same area. It, I still have a group to my face. Now in person my skin looks smooth, it looks very pretty. I might have to wear this with other foundations instead of just my normal plight of the skin tint. So I'll have to try this with the Colourpop one and the Revlon Serum Foundation. I actually wore that yesterday and I hadn't worn it since Christmas last year. And I used <coughs> the Elf uh, grip primer that I've lost 